A little surprised to see Gary here today. Uh, yeah, we didn't, uh, as we know, we didn't get uh, we didn't get enough rebounds, and we didn't make enough open shots on uh, Friday night to keep this thing going. Uh, the rebounding was an issue for far too long, and uh, one that has not been an issue for us in the past, and we'll get it corrected so it's not an issue for us going forward. And and then for some, uh, uh, I don't know, for some reason it was just a hard time making open shots with this crew, and that one is one that I just, you know, the only thing, and you've heard me say it a number of times, we expect that our guys will get in the gym and they'll put their time in and they will work at it and they'll shoot shot after shot after shot. And these guys did, you know, they did the same thing. And when it came game time, and I don't think it was for a lack of confidence, for a lack of anything that we were doing. We just happened to hit a stretch with some guys that, um, you know, we missed some shots when we had opportunities to get a little momentum. And certainly the game against Missouri State, you know, we had opportunities in the first half to get some momentum and uh, weren't able to. And we had some chances in the second half to uh, to get that lead and extend it a little bit, and it didn't happen. So uh, sometimes that's the way it goes. Uh, before I take any questions, I do want to congratulate our our uh, head women's coach, she's sitting back there with her staff, her and her staff both, on being our all-time win leader. Uh, Tanya, that uh, it's absolutely awesome, and I uh, want to congratulate you and your staff on that, but also the year that you guys have had. You know, they, they had some turnover in their roster, and uh, with a different team and some, some young gals on that team, they uh, uh, put together an unbelievable year. You know, and one of the things that that I wish I would have been able to do this year was be at the home game against Drake. I know we didn't win that game, but uh, but I understand from talking to everybody that that was at that game that it was a tremendous experience for uh, for our team and, and our program and our school. And so I wish you guys luck this uh, this weekend and uh, see if we can't get uh, uh, get those wins down there and, and get to the NCAA tournament for Tanya and her crew. But congratulations, uh, Tanya. Uh, with that, I would take questions. <clears throat> As you reflect back um, in your 11 years, this was your first losing season, 14 and 16. Just what, what else about this team or this group or this season? You've had a couple days to kind of think about the, the season and how everything went. What, what else do you reflect on in this group? Yeah, I'm, you know, I, uh, um, one of the things I don't, uh, one of the things I don't think about, um, and fortunate that I'm, um, our program is in a position, and um, but but I don't, you know, our, your record's going to be what it is. You know, it's it's more fun when it's 31 and four, uh, and I, you know, we all share in that fun and, and understand that. I mean, it's just it's the way it is, and that's why you play the games is is to put together a uh, a good team and a good record. But I I don't uh, I just don't think about that. Part of it. Those numbers, you know, they don't, and they won't mean, you know, they won't mean anything to me. Uh, what I what I have thought about is, with 11 first-year guys, 11 guys that hadn't played one minute for us, uh, and then not playing well at, you know, to start conference play to to, to fall to 0 and 5 and and not play well at all. Um, and you've heard me talk about this. You know, the way we were playing, boy, I wasn't. I wasn't sure when we were going to beat somebody. Um, and then to turn around and win 9 out of 10 and do all of that with Wyatt already being hurt and Wyatt not being a part of it, so we're down one of our four or five experienced guys, I I think we accomplished a, a great deal. Uh, so, you know, I'm, uh, I'm glad that I look at it that way. Uh, it's not my choice to tell anyone else how to look at things, but as our head coach, I get a lot of say as to how our players think and, and how our staff thinks. And um, to win nine out of ten is uh, impressive in any season, uh, I would tell you. And to do it with the number of young guys we had and and uh, Wyatt being hurt, I think even more impressive than in some ways, Gary, to, to have that stretch. So um, I'm proud of what the guys did. And uh, we were in position Friday to win that game and get onto the semis. And as we know, we've. We've done pretty well in the semis. So had we played better by two possessions on Friday and got into that game against Wichita, I don't think anybody would have been surprised if we would have beat them. And anybody would have been surprised if we would have won again on Sunday. Uh, so we were in that position. And uh, 
you know, I, there would have, there would certainly been some some disappointment in it, Gary, if we had gone to St. Louis without any chance to do well. You know, then then that gives me a lot to think about in terms of where we're at and guys coming back. And but we went to St. Louis with a win a nine out of ten in that stretch, and we went to St. Louis and we played well Friday night. We didn't play um, as I talked about. We didn't rebound well enough. We didn't play well enough, but we played well, and we had a. The same chance Missouri State did to win that game with 90 seconds left. Uh, so, you know, there's there, there's some things that were, um, you know, maybe a little frustrating at times. But uh, but I'm proud of what the guys accomplished and uh, what they were able to do during the middle of that season. Um, did any of the other tournaments reach out to you and did you make?